Warning. This podcast is for mature audiences only. If you are under 18, please leave now. That goes for you as well, Karen. We are not professionals, so don't take our advice for shit. So just sit back and enjoy our kinky adventures. And welcome back, you kinky fuckers, to you. Bang Bang. Pineapple Gang. That's right, Bang Bang Pineapple Gang. Coming in your ears via podcast, and whether it be Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Amazon, even on YouTube. And goddamn, don't you guys wish this was on YouTube? Because there she is with her sexy titties. Oh, so nice. I am your host. My name is Jay. And I'm the sexy V. The sexy V and them titties. Oh, yeah. Yep. Look at you just playing with them and getting them harder and harder. Yeah, because they, you know, I had some poofy nipples to begin with. And uh-huh. now they're nice oh, and hard. Nice and hard. It was so cold today because, you know, we were doing something in the backyard. And you got those, like, like oranges tank top. Yeah, I have a light orange tank top on. And I guess I didn't really think about it, but you can really see the nips. Like, well, you can see the nips and all the tank tops I wear when they get hard, but like you can see the yeah, color the, of the areola. The, yeah, as compared. I like to call them, raviolis. <laughs> raviolis. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. And uh, oh, so fucking hot. And ladies and gentlemen, we are kicking off season twat. Season twat. Season, season three. Season three. Be careful you don't pull that, that microphone cord out. Yeah, I won't mess with it. Our <laughs> setup's a little different this time. Yeah, so. we, are, we are on the road yeah. <laughs> for this podcast. We are at your crib. Yes, we are. Recording it this time, so I don't know if we're all sound different or whatever. Yeah, and I don't know. It's a different setup, though, so and it's weird. Being weird. Like, it's weird being right across from you. Yes. Because usually we kind of sit like kitty corner. kitty corner from each other, but now I'm like looking at you and I just want to pull out my wiener and <laughs> start playing with it. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we are kicking off season two and we got a show for you because uh, um, we actually had a new experience since the last podcast. Finally uh, met a guy and he followed through and showed up. Yeah, yeah. Finally, imagine that. Finally, we had somebody <laughs> show up. Uh, but yeah, so uh, our sexy story of the week will be a Reddit user hit us up and had OnlyFans, and basically he doesn't film for OnlyFans or anything. He just wants to fuck girls on camera. Yeah, he has a verified account for that fact alone, just so that uh, people like me can post the content. Yeah. And he can actually have it be, you know, yeah. L- legal. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And he's, and he's over the age of 25. <laughs> so that was a welcome change for you. <laughs> uh, stop it. You're the one who has the, the whole age hang up. Uh, I'm just playing with you. You know I love you. All right, let's get a few things out of the way here. Uh, where else can you find Bang Bang Pineapple Gang? So you can also find us at FullSwapRadio.com, which is uh, basically a radio station that is lifestyle and sex positive, lifestyle friendly uh, podcast. So they have all different kind of podcasts you can listen to uh, throughout the day. And you can check ours out on Monday, 7.30 a.m. and Saturday, 10 a.m. Central Time. And you can also check us out on Instagram and TikTok, Bang Bang Pineapple Gang Pod 2.0. Um, and we also have a link tree where all of our links are on Instagram. So you can go check that out. Yeah, uh, we have the links for the show, whether it be Spotify, and it's got the YouTube link, Facebook, Instagram. Yeah, everything we talk about is Every, there. Yeah, so everything that's we talk about. the place talk, to go. Yeah, just go to the Instagram and hit that link tree. And, uh, what else is some goodies that are on that link tree? Uh, well, you can get to our Swinger Society Discord page. Yes, almost 30,000 swingers on there. Yeah, on Discord. Yeah, on that's, Discord. That's pretty crazy. It keeps growing. Yeah, it keeps growing. And like I said, uh, uh, there's tons of different rooms you can go in there and chat. And you yeah. know, whatever your taste is, they have it. Uh, yeah. So uh, go on there and. 
a lot of people hook up through there. So, so they good do. luck. So, yeah. Uh, go out and check that out. Yep, definitely meet like minded people. Um, we are on Twitter as well, uh, BB Pineapple G Pod. Um, and then we also have a code for Panac.com. Yeah. And what you, is Panac.com? Panac.com is a vodka that comes in this very sexy pineapple bottle. And uh, you screw off the top of the bottle, you know, which would be the the leaf yeah, yep. area. The pineapple leaves. And yep. then you can screw it on bottom of the pineapple. And it will look like an upside-down pineapple. That's the stand for it. Yeah, that's awesome. So, so you can get a discount by using code BBP um, at their website. Yeah, and uh, you get a discount on your order. So go out there and and uh, get your sexy bottles. Look sexy on any swinger uh, bar anywhere. And it's flavored vodka. Yeah. They have different yeah, flavored yeah, vodkas, yeah, right? There's different. There's four different ones. Uh I've only tried the one. It's been the, the, the pina colada pina one. Colada one and yeah. It's fucking awesome. Yeah. But I definitely want to try the other ones. Uh, I, there's like a berry flavored one or something. Yeah, I've like seen like a reddish or pinkish colored pineapple yep. bottle. Yep. Um, there's a, a gold, gold one. Uh, the white that the pina colada is in. Yeah. And then there's a blue one. Oh, okay. Cool. That's kind of like the berry mix, I believe. Yeah, I'm not a drinker, so you'll have to try them all yep. out. But they are really cool bottles. Yeah, the bottles are fucking sexy. Yep. So go to panaka.com and use code BBP. All right, what other stuff do we got to get out of the way here? Um, you can also find us on Cassidy.com. And uh, if you want to check out Cassidy.com and get a free 30 days, you can sign up with our code PineappleGangPod. Or to make it really easy, you can go to Instagram and go to that link tree, and all you need to do is click on the link to Cassidy, and you're good to go. Yeah, you to don't have to you don't have to put in the code or anything. That link right there will take you right to it. Yep, and, and I think we have almost a hundred people signed up through us. Oh, that's awesome! So Cassidy.com is basically a swinger uh, friendly website, a place to meet like minded individuals. Yeah. Um, we are trying to get more people in our area on there and just get the word out so it grows naturally and yep. uh, go check it out. When you say our area, we're talking about the, the Midwest area. The Midwest area. area, yeah. Because it's heavily used on the West Coast, but they are you know pu- pushing for past the... Uh, Got to expand. The, the Mississippi. Yep. So uh, I do know that they have a huge showing in Chicago. So if you guys are in the... Northern Illinois area, Chicago area, Milwaukee. They got a good showing up there. So uh, go out and check out Cassidy.com. That's K A S I D I E. Good job. Dot com. <laughs> you forget that E. <laughs> Normally do. Oh, uh, we're, we're, we're flying through this stuff today. <laughs> Fuck the haters out there. Uh, um, and uh, one last thing to plug here. So, yeah, uh, definitely go check out my OnlyFans page. It is The Sexy V, and it is um, half off for the first month, so you pay seven fifty to get in the door. You have access to everything right away. Uh, there's no PPV for the videos or anything like that. And, uh, yeah, so basically when you sign up, you get it all. And on top of that, you'll see what we talk about tonight. Yes, so our uh, experience with our Reddit fan is posted on there already so nope go there, check it there, out there's a whole bunch of sexy content out there from this past meetup and uh there'll be more because i filmed it from like three different angles so yeah. you know we're going to be releasing different angle you know shots of that and then i'm going to put them all together into one big video so you guys can play the game of how long can I stroke my cock before I come to this, you know, longer video? <laughs> yeah, instead of just the little clips. So yeah. far, I can't make it past the blowjob. <laughs> <laughs> I've tried. Really? I've tried. Yeah. You know, wow. Because uh, you know, we'll, we'll get more into it, but you know, it, you know, watching the video and just watching your face the way you're like. I like what I see so far. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so it was so hot. You know, I pop during the blowjob. Oh. Even before my dick gets in there for the double blowjob. Wow. Yeah, I'm, I'm, wow. Yeah. And, and spoiler alert for this guy, he actually let me suck his dick. He did. Yeah. He, he wasn't by, but he was uh, open. comfortable. Comfortable. Open. Yeah. Yep. You know, which is awesome because then you just. 
do what feels good. You're not worrying about, oh, I can't do that because this person is a dude or, <laughs> you know, that kind of thing. So. Yeah, and uh, for, for my DM slide, I'm going to kind of go through his uh, through his message to me so we can teach people out there how to get into the sexy V's to, pants. <laughs> to have a, a good <laughs> DM slide. Well, that's not the only qualification <laughs> no, to have a good quality. DM. Yeah, but. Right. <laughs> uh, but, uh, yeah. I am a picky bitch. <laughs> yeah, super picky bitch. <laughs> um, yeah, but uh, usually this part of the section of the of the show, because um, I think we covered your OnlyFans, right? Yeah. yeah. Yeah? So we can just dive into the show here, which yeah. is like record time for us. Ten minutes. Wow. Boom. Yeah, usually we bullshit around forever. In and out. Yeah. Like Madison guy. <laughs> no, <laughs> no we, we love Madison guy. But I, I was disappointed, though, because I, I checked out his, his fet life, and evidently he's with somebody now, so he's not going to be fucking us. Yeah, you know, and I was actually thinking about that, what was it, maybe yesterday or even earlier today, thinking like, man, I really hope he doesn't, you know, decide to take his page down, because then we lose that content. Oh, on OnlyFans. Mm-hmm. Ooh, that would suck. Maybe we should start getting them to sign these contract, <laughs> contracts because I think if they sign like a waiver, even if they take their page down. Yeah, that's different. I believe if they were to do the waiver thing as opposed to just having a, a verified page themselves, yeah. because then that release would be on my page for that person. Now, obviously, if he came to me and was like, hey, I don't want you to post this at all, obviously, I'd have to respect that. And, yeah. You know, if it was a case like that. But, um, but yeah, that was just a thought that crossed my mind. So hopefully that's not something that we run into. But he still has his FetLife page up and, uh, you know, I still, you know, is on it. Like, yeah, I would imagine if he would do something like that, he'd probably be like, hey, just FYI, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Um, that would really suck, though, because, you know, we have... Well, I guess it was just the two meetings, but our hottest video... Three meetings. Three meetings. Well, yeah, that's right. So our hottest video is actually with him. Yeah. Um, that's the 69 video. The hottest video. experience yeah. that we had. And you had that mind-blowing orgasm. I sure did. With that giant penis in you. Oh, and your tongue on my clit, yeah. Oh, oh look at you. Yeah, you're gonna really flick nice. the You're going to flick the bean right here at the table? Yeah. No, oh, no. I'm just thinking sweet. like, man, I, I just don't want to lose that. I, I want my fans to see that. That was fucking hot. So yeah, super let's hot. cross our fingers and hope that doesn't happen. Yeah. Oh, well, shit. And uh, speaking of FetLife, how many FetLife subscri- uh, Fet followers do you have now? <laughs> I only bring that up because I have eyes everywhere, ladies and gentlemen. And there was some guy talking shit about her. Po- well, it was weird because it was like, he was talking shit about the podcast, but still... He liked the su- podcast, he said, but he didn't like you talking about how many FET followers I had. He felt like maybe you were bragging about it or something. But now that I'm thinking about it, I'm wondering if he was maybe confusing that with the um, the Swinger Society uh, Discord numbers. Because I know we talk about that a lot with the numbers, because yeah. that is a lot. Um, but yeah, I mean, fat life, it's close to 17,000 people. That's not very much, but you know, <laughs> who's counting? Yeah, right. I think I just, what did I hit? Did I just hit 7,000 or 4,000? No, I think 4,000. 4, yeah. Oh, you're 7,000. Sorry, 7,000. No, yeah. No, no. I just 70, hit, hit 4,000 followers. <laughs> well, hey, you don't have the boobs. So, you know, you do, that's pretty damn good for not having boobs and a vagina. Yeah. On fat, honestly, you know. Yeah. Well, it's because I have you on my penis on almost every freaking picture on there. Oh, stop it. No, you don't. <laughs> uh, but, uh, yeah, so, uh, so yeah, hater. You know, I, I didn't know whether to take it as a hater comment or it was a positive comment. I don't know. Well, no, he said he liked the podcast if you can get over. He said if you can get over to, uh, him talking about his wife's fat life fan count or something like that. Yeah. It's like, you know, we've mentioned that, or I've at least, talked about it in the past because yeah, it was for like the one, first few episodes anyway for one it's fucking crazy that you know to me like almost seventeen thousand people hit follow <laughs> you know <laughs> it's right. actually to physically hit follow to to follow my page so to me that's just mind-blowing so i'm gonna talk about it and you know whatever yeah. so yeah so so uh Fuck you, dude. I don't know whether to say fuck you, dude, no. or, or you know, because obviously you must not listen past 
those episodes. Yeah, maybe that was like the beginning episodes, but um, no, I don't think it was like that. I think. Uh, well, thanks yeah. for the plug. I think, anyway. I think maybe he felt like you were like I don't know bragging on me or something, but like, wouldn't you be doing that since you're my significant other? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. My, my ego has been taking it some slams this week, oh, so every little it. thing's been setting me off. Stop. Because uh, uh, I did my my family. Yeah. Convention, my yeah. convention, my my uh, family friendly, my thing. interlocking brick convention over the week, and uh, and I sucked. So no, no you didn't <laughs> stop it. Uh, so, anyways, but anyways, from that, I actually wanted to get into something that happened during that. Is that because uh, at this thing it was me and my sons, and then yeah. we would go out to dinner and stuff like that, yeah. and uh, uh, we went to Chili's one night. Yes, and there was this really hot waitress. That yes. was our waitress, right? Mm-hmm. And, uh, you know, she was doing her job. She's not flirting. We're not really flirting. And well, all she's that. being friendly. Yeah, she's, yeah, but, but your she waitress. she was super hot. And then she, like, turned around, and I noticed that she had uh, a pineapple cell phone. Nice. <laughs> like, like, was it the case? Like, the case yeah, was yeah, a the, pineapple? the case was pineapples. Oh, cool. Yeah. And I'm like, hmm. No, so, obviously, with, you're with your kids. You're not going to say anything to her. No, but... Now, if my kids weren't there, do I say something? You probably would have been like, oh, I like your phone case. Yeah. And hey, then check out that maybe one. like open it up like that. But still, even in a public setting like that, and she's at work too, she's probably not going to be like, oh, yeah, I'm a swinger, blah, blah, blah. You know what I mean? Because that's her like employer. Yeah. Like she's not going to, I wouldn't be talking about that kind of shit if I was a waitress. Yeah. You know, even if I am working for tips, it doesn't matter, but. Yeah, you got to right. keep that separate. So I texted you. I'm like, whoa, this waitress is hot. And she's got a you know pineapple phone case. Yeah. On. And, and, <laughs> I was like, well, and, that's cool to see him out in the wild. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and and then, then then you're like, cool, get her number. I'm like, I'm with my kids. <laughs> and then you're like, well, when you guys leave, go back in like you forgot something. <laughs> <laughs> no, but. Uh, and that's the thing. It's like, obviously, with summer, pineapples are a summary thing. They're not necessarily all swinger related. So it's kind of funny when you do see them out in the wild, it's like, are they? Yeah, exactly. (laughs) Are they not? (laughs) And and what was funny is that uh, at this convention, uh, I wore my pineapple backpack. Yes. You know, and and it's like in your face, pineapple backpack. Yes. Uh, You know, pineapples all over it. And then I have like a pineapple poppet on it as well. So it's like, pineapples (laughs) pineapples <laughs> and never once did i get you know anyone not not anyone saying oh you know you know just even joking being like you know what pineapples mean don't you right never got one comment yeah well, on it's that. more family friendly stuff that's the thing yeah but i don't know i just figured with the amount of like uh people like tiktokers and everything that was there you know these influencers yeah that none of them picked up on it, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, because you know that's you know one big chunk of TikTok is swing talk. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Well, they're not on it. They don't know. That's, well, I'm. That's the thing. I'm sure if you're on TikTok, if you're an influencer on one thing, you're gonna be hit with everything, right? No. Like on your timelines, because no. they're, they're gonna be like different like worlds. You think so? Yeah, absolutely. So like if you're. Stuck in, like, one little world? Like, that's what you're going to see. You're not going to get something from swing talk. You know, the only time you're going to get that kind of shit is if you're looking, you know, for that content regardless. Yeah, I, I see all the time, though, on, like, swing talkers where they're like, how did I, you know, someone comment, like, how did I even get here on swing talk? You know, you know, I don't, I'm not a swinger. I don't look at swinger stuff or... Well, yeah, I mean, all the hashtags they use, and I mean, they can probably come up for a lot of different ways, but I don't think they just come up randomly and something like that. Yeah, so I was at this convention with 1,700 people, you know, just at the convention part, and then they have, like, public days where they had 24,000 people walk through. Wow. And no one no one picked up on it. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, well, the public's not going to see it. I mean, yeah. it was on the floor, but... Um, yeah, I mean it's yeah. If people notice it. Cool. If not, then they're lost. Yeah, and uh, another fun thing that happened that week is that 
Uh, I don't know if we talked about it on the podcast where I had never been to Hooters and then you took me to Hooters. Did yes. We, did we go across that? I don't remember if we talked about it on the podcast at all, but yeah, you had made a comment how you had never been to Hooters and I'm like, what? <laughs> like, how have you not been to Hooters? Like, come on. I've never been to a strip club and had never been to Hooters. Yeah. Was- and then... You took me to so one. I took him. Yeah, I took you to Hooters. Yeah, and, like a year ago, right? That's probably oh yeah, about it a was ago. over a year ago. Yeah, and um, you wanted to go again over the weekend, but your son, your older son, made a big to do about it because he's yes. like, "No, my girlfriend's going to get mad at me." <laughs> and I'm like, "What the fuck are you? okay?" So they're what 19, 19 years old. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm like, like this, like, real. <laughs> I don't even know what to say. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, well, you're really going to get jealous and not let your boyfriend go to Hooters where they're waitressing. They're bringing you drinks and food right. with a side of cleavage uh-huh. and maybe a side of butt cheeks, like, on the way out. Like, I will say I was disappointed with these Hooters waitresses because they had, like, the full boy shorts on. They didn't have the cool, like, shorty shorts where it's, like, going up their ass, kind of, like, cheeky shorts. Yeah, normally they have, like, the those types of shorts. Yeah, the, the boy shorts? The boy shorts, yeah. Because yeah, the one that we went up in Madison, they had the, the higher cut, like, oh, they were, booty shorts. Oh, were they a little higher cut yeah. up there? Yeah. So I guess I don't go to enough Hooters to <laughs> notice the different uh, length of shorts. But <laughs> but I will say, though, because uh, this was in Schaumburg, Illinois, they have some of the hottest waitresses I've ever seen. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know. of course they're going to be really hot. I mean, I mean at Hooters. So. I mean, hands down, no offense, because you're a gorgeous girl. Oh, here we go. No. <laughs> <laughs> but when we first walked into this Hooters restaurant, mm-hmm. the, the hostess up there had to have been one of the hottest women I've ever seen in my life. Like, oh, really? Super hot. Like, gorgeous. Like, hmm. like she could model. That's how fucking hot she is. And, she, you know, she was, you know, kind of like shorter, but not like super skinny or anything. And, you know, and she had these huge, they had to have been fake tits because they weren't going anywhere. They were like huge tits. She was hot blonde, gorgeous face, and everything. I'm like, fucking, hey. I'm like, you congrats. Think- you know, Schomburg <laughs> you Hooters. for those blondes. I mean, I'm a sucker for a blonde. And they're probably all like super young, though. Like, you know, that's more like a, well, obviously not like high school, but, you know, probably like a college thing. Yeah, they have, do. they're probably like, you know, early early 20s 20s, yeah yeah. and it's like every single one in there was like a dime piece yeah (laughs) it was really funny because uh we were leaving and uh my son had some interlocking bricks with him and he dropped them on the floor right (laughs) and like three of these gorgeous waitresses boom right on their knees helping them let me help you little boy let me help you get your toys i'm like (laughs) like not all heroes wear caves, my man. <laughs> you are now my favorite son. <laughs> you are now my favorite son. <laughs> to watch all three of these hot chicks drop on their knees. <laughs> and start picking and up start things. grabbing stuff on the floor for you. It's fucking nice. amazing. <laughs> nope, that's cool. But yeah, it's really shitty that... Because I know you wanted to go there like you're, the second night you guys went, but... Your son was making a big to do about it, so you guys went elsewhere. And then I was like, "No, fuck that! Like, yeah, right? you go there and eat." Like, and, and it was funny because he tried throwing it in my face. He goes, "Well, what what would V say about <laughs> you going there?" I'm like, "She wants me to go yeah, there." Right. It's like talking about? she took me to Hooters the first time I went. <laughs> He's <laughs> like, "Oh, like, yeah, trying to." Well, what would your girlfriend do? Well, yeah. she doesn't give a fuck, so. <laughs> right, and at this uh, at the convention, there was this influencer that, you know, I got the hots for her. She's cute, yeah. super cute, tattooed. She's got the punk. And I didn't even notice that she had her ears done to where it, she's got elf ears now. She had her body, mod- her ears modified. Oh, she actually had the procedure to get them yeah. elf-eared, yeah. huh? Yeah, she's got wow. the, the elf ears. And some hardcore shit. Yeah, that's what I thought. I'm I like, wonder if she did, like, um... Like with a body mod artist, or if she actually found a plastic surgeon to do it. Yeah, I don't know, but it was super cute on her. Hmm. And uh, so it was funny because I was like, you know, I've had a crush on her, you know, yeah. since the TV show. 
even before I met you. <laughs> and uh, and uh, so she was there. I was like, oh my god! She, and I'm like, I like snap a picture and I send it to you. Yeah. And uh, my son was like, well, why are you going all goo goo for this chick? He's like, what is V gonna say? I'm like, V gave me permission. I got it right here on my cell phone. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah because you said she was there i was like cool go get her number <laughs> <laughs> yep so, yeah, but, but yeah. me i was super shy i didn't, I didn't even get to say hi to her well you're with your kids too yeah that's weird yeah hey, like if you're my, legitimately trying to do something but you know like she's not into that no she's just some i don't i don't know about that because stuff that happened saturday night yeah Questionable. What do you mean? I mean, when the when the lights went out Saturday night, she was she was uh she was very handsy with a lot of people. Oh, huh. yeah. And I'm like, I'm not one of them peoples. <laughs> well, you weren't over there apparently. And it sucked. No, it was right in front of my table. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I'm like, man, mine's just not big enough for her to come and look at. <laughs> <Stop> <laughs> <it>. <laughs> Uh, but uh, you want to get into DM slides of the week? Yeah. So I so this is actually from OnlyFans. And here, let me pull up my screenshots because it was do, do, been a little do, while. Do, do, do. So, <laughs> but um, anyways, so this guy probably about um, oh, it doesn't say exactly when. So sometime, maybe like a month ago, maybe two months ago. He hit me up and he asked me um, about my selling used panties. And he's like, how do you ship and how do I pay? And I was like, well, you just pay through here as a tip. And, you know, I told him how I'd ship them. And, um, yeah, I basically said, you know, if you're interested, I'd basically have to wait a week. Um, so, it, you know, there'd be a little bit of time before you'd get it. But, yeah. And then that was it. He read it. No, thank you. No, okay. No, I'm not interested. Uh, nothing like that. Just total ghosted me. Uh, totally forgot all about it. It's not like I followed up. And um, a month later, month and a half later, I notice I had a guy come back and restart his subscription with me, which I like to see because they pay full price. Mm -hmm. And... Um, couple minutes after that he messages me back and was like oh perfect i was wondering if they're still available um let me know what the steps are yes i've been wearing the same pair of panties for two months now waiting for <laughs> you to buy these <laughs> and i was like okay yeah it's still possible um you know just send a tip here and you know i, I asked him a couple questions like or do you have any preferences as to what you want me to do in them? Because normally I would wear them while I uh, masturbate or something and then, you know, get them all wet and send them to you, that kind of thing. Or if somebody else has, say, a fetish of, hey, I want your panties after you've been to the gym for two hours or, you know, whatever, <laughs> something like that. So I was just like, yeah, just send me, you know, um, kind of like what you're looking for exactly. And, you know, we'll go from there. All right. He read it. I saw that he read it, and no comment back, nothing. Yeah, because we could easily get him sweaty as hell for you. We could just go outside. <laughs> hell yeah, now it's 100 <laughs> degrees outside. But um, So I don't know if this is one of those guys that's actually, like, serious about it or if he just kind of likes the talk of it. Because he actually came back. I mean, he paid $15 to come back. Yeah. And, you know, at least for the month. And he was quick to message me about him. And just never got back and to And then, yeah, never sent me the the money, never sent a message back about, hey, this is what I'm looking for or this is what I'd like to see. Because what I'd do is I'd make a little video of me, like, masturbating in him and send it along with it. Yeah. You know? But, uh No. Yeah, well, well, so yeah, so I thought that was kind of weird. But. Yeah, it's kind of weird how you know people will be on it right away and then just gone and just ghost me. That's crazy. And then he came back. He like paid to come back, <laughs> ask about it, and then ghost me again. <laughs> All right. So my DM slide is, ladies and gentlemen, this is how 
one way to actually DM slide. This isn't a negative one. This one's a positive one. This is like what you should do. What you should do. And because I've seen a rash. I mean, we get tons of guys on Reddit. They're like, oh, I want to fuck you. Will you, are you down to fuck me? Yeah. One, they don't have any pictures or anything on their page. Right. Two, they don't include any kind of picture in their DM. Now, first of all, don't dick pic on your first DM. Right. Right? Yeah, you need to at least ask, hey, is it okay if I send a dick pic or do you want to see a dick pic? Yeah. You know, in our case, we want to see what you're working with. Yeah, but when we ask for it. Right. So, like, uh, the guy that, what do we want to call him? We can't call him Reddit guy. What are we going to call him? Because we already have a Reddit guy, right? <laughs> Kane. Well, Kane was Kane, but he was a Reddit guy. I don't know. Um, what was his... His his, his name it was... Uh, we'll just call him Bad. I don't know. Whatever. I don't care. All right. Call him John for all I care. John? <laughs> sure. I don't care. All right. Well, <laughs> well, let's just... Let's call him... Let's just call him AJ, okay? Okay. <laughs> all right. So... AJ sent me this message because I had put out a post that we're looking for people to shoot for OnlyFans. Yes. And uh, he sends this message. He goes, saw you are looking for OnlyFans verified for content creation. I'm 34, 6'3", very fit and well hung. Would love to shoot some video with you. Can send more pics of interested. And what's cool is he used punctuation. (laughs) Yeah. And, you know, was perfect. And uh, he also included a picture of himself, you know, a vanilla picture, a vanilla picture of himself. So you saw his face, you know, saw, you know, shirtless, you know, but he's not just like in the gym. Right. Yeah. Or, you know, because I've had a couple guys this week send pictures of just their buttholes. I'm like, who the fuck? Really? Who's going to turn who's going to be turned on by looking at your butthole? Well, I mean, there are some people who probably like butthole, so, you know, you don't want to hate on them. But it's like if I'm trying to hook up with somebody, I want to see your dick. Because yeah. Because that's what's going to be going in me. Well, a lot of it had to do with that because I posted, you know, the, a little bit of the buy stuff. And they're like. That's that's it. You posted the buy stuff. They yeah, figured and- since you claim you're buy, well, I mean, you are buy, yeah. but, you know, like. That means You're I want I want to be right in your butt. No. Well, well, to some guys, maybe that's what they think because maybe they're into that, or they think because you are by you like guys' buttholes. I don't know. I don't, but <laughs> you know, is the first pic you're gonna send is of your butthole? Hell no! Like if I'm trying to hook up with somebody, I'm not gonna just send a random butthole picture. Like that'd be the last <laughs> thing I'd send because you'd probably look at it and be like, "What the fuck is wrong with you?" And it's not like they're nice buttholes either. They're like super hairy, like. Bear buttholes and you know, <laughs> just not my not <laughs> not not what not the butthole you're going oh, for. Oh no, huh? no no no, <laughs> definitely not. Uh, but yeah, so he sent this picture, oh. and so I'm like, oh, you know, very interesting. So I sent you uh, a yeah, screenshot you sent it of me. it, yep. and you said, you know, you liked what you saw, and uh, so I go, uh, would love to see more pics. What's your OnlyFans page? So he sent me the OnlyFans page. He goes. He goes, uh, I don't have any of my own content, but verified so I can work with creators like yourself. Yeah. So this dude got smart, got verified. And- yeah, that's the way to do it. He doesn't have to post the content if he doesn't want to do that. I mean, if he's not into it for that side of things and he's only into it for the uh, the actual content creation to be that third party or whatever, then, yeah, that's awesome, too, because, hey, it worked for us and... We got the content to post, and, you know, I gave him a link to my page for the year, yep. and it took him a couple of days for him to even accept that, because he said he's really not even on there too much, so. Yeah, not, you know, the chef's not even, you know, going and checking out his own work. <laughs> <laughs> I did see, you know, he obviously joined, and uh, whether he's come back or not to watch this stuff, I don't know, but, um, yeah, sometimes people just don't want to see their stuff. So yeah, and uh, and I asked him. I'm like, so what all are you comfortable with? And he goes, I have experience in MFM situations. I'm not fully bi, but cool with casual contact, and have gotten double BJ's before. Open to a lot. Yeah. And uh, anything, he's like, anything specific you guys want to do? And 
Uh, we'll go more into it when we talk about our sexy story, but I'm like, dude, you know, we don't set up like storylines or anything like that or yeah, nothing no like scripting or scripting or anything. Yeah. You know, it's just go with the flow and, you know, because I think he kind of came in thinking that we were like professional porn do, like, stars a whole or something. Scene and yeah, like I wanted to do this or that. Because yeah, I asked and I was like, well, you know, we're just very go with the flow. I have nothing in mind. Like I, I want to do this or do that, or this is the scenario I want to be in. Um, to me, that's just, I don't know, I have a hard time. I'm not an act actress, <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm not. And we all know if you go and watch uh, oh, the, the Mars the video, shut the hell up. I'm just here with my friend. <laughs> all right. Can we wrap this up here? I'm going to go. <laughs> but, uh, no, because it, it's just awkward to me. You know, you don't know what to say. You just feel all weird. You're overthinking it. Um, some yeah. people do well at it. I'm not one of those people. So, And, you know, and like I've said multiple times, you know, when I would go and look at porn, I'd want that, like, homemade stuff, like kind of the rough stuff, you know, uh, yeah. you know, not finely tuned or storyline to it. Yeah, even though that's the type of porn I watch. But, no, I understand what you mean. Yeah, you want to see the, you know, like be a fly on the wall or just, some random yeah. person like you and me, you know, just a random person. Like, let's see what they do in there. Yeah, and I've, no, I've noticed that, you know, there's a few people that make comments about your OnlyFans page. We're like, wow, you know, you're not like these other OnlyFans people that are like, you know, scripted and, you know, kind of look Hollywoodish, like you're trying to be someone. Yeah, there are um, chicks out there that have, you know, they're, they're trying to play the role of more like porn star yeah. than say me. Like I'm just sharing my sex life. Yeah, you're you're just a Midwestern chick just getting her pussy pounded by multiple strange men. Pretty much. <laughs> and recording it for everybody to watch. Yeah. But uh yeah, so you know the whole conversation with this guy was just so cool and you know and this was only like a day, two days before we even had him over. Yeah. So it wasn't like it was like a long, drawn out thing with him, you know, where he would disappear for a little bit or whatever. Right. It was like, well, yeah. Well, that also happened because we had time to meet up. Yeah. So that his timing was perfect. Yeah. It, it, it just worked <laughs> out because our schedule is obviously very difficult to find free time for the both of us. And then without the kid around, too. Um, your older son, yes. when we have the house for free. So, so, so in like, uh, I, Two day notice. He was like, "Yep, I can." You know, I guess. Yeah, free no, time that's awesome. On Saturday, so let's go and do it. It worked. And you know, even you know, contacting him, you know, throughout the day that day, you know, I was like, "Are you still coming?" He's like, "Yeah, I'm still coming." And I would check in because I have that. that Always thing. worry, like, are they gonna show up? Or are we gonna get that text an hour before? Like, oh, I can't make it. Um, that kind of thing. So, like, we got that one guy who flaked on us, and now he's begging again. Yeah. To get into your, your your panties. Yeah. Or not get in your panties. I don't know. It's a weird situation with him. Yeah. <laughs> Either, way. Either way. All right. So uh, those are our DM slides. So that's what you have to do. You guys just be kind in these DMs and, you know, just don't don't come off like a pushy asshole or anything like that. Just No, just be friendly and respectful and, um, you know, straight to the point. You don't need to... Have a whole drawn out, you know, yeah. conversation. Yeah, don't about come it. out and saying, "Oh, I'm gonna pound a fucking pussy off of her." Yeah, yeah. I mean, just uh, yeah. We talked about, got straight to the point. Talked about what we needed to talk about, and uh, worked out all the details of everything. And yeah, had a great bang, time. Bang, bang, boom. Had a really good time. Yeah. All right. So before we get into the full story on that. Ladies and gentlemen, it is summertime. It is summertime. It's hot outside. It is. And what do you do when it's hot outside? You put popsicles in your vagina, right? Um. Oh, yeah, of course. <laughs> Says here, women warned not to put popsicles in their vaginas to cool off in the hot weather. See, I have never once in my life now... I'm, you know, I'm very sensitive to the heat, so I get hot very easily. And I've never once thought, man, I need to put a popsicle on my pussy to cool off. <laughs> never once have I thought about that. So why in the hell would this even need to be a news article? So that's why I didn't read the news article. You just sent me a screenshot of it. Yeah. 
Um, so I'm curious to see how this was initiated. So let's go, go ahead. It's funny because you, you're like, you don't cool off from your vagina with a popsicle. And I'm, the first thing that pops in my mind is like to cool off a dog, you put their feet in like water. Right. <laughs> instead of putting your feet in water, you put your vagina in like cold water. And it's like, ooh, now I am refreshed. <laughs> it says, as temperatures soar this week, experts are urging women not to try this one thing at home. <laughs> Uh, the UK has been hit by scorching temperatures over the past few days, and it looks like the nice weather is going to continue over the next few days. And while there's plenty of good advice online for how to keep cool, there's one suggestion out there that you certainly shouldn't pay any attention to, no matter how hot it gets. Oh, my God. Some women might become too desperate for relief from the heat that they actually consider inserting popsicles into the into their vaginas, believing it will help. Oh, my God. But in case you were thinking about giving this a go, an expert is keen to let you know what a bad idea <laughs> it really is. Do you really need someone to come out and tell you it's a bad idea to put a popsicle in your vagina? Well, I would like to think that no, but I will tell you that I know that people need to be told. <laughs> because, yeah, but me knowing... What's going to happen? Like sugar in a vagina? That's not good. Not to mention maybe frostbite on your your bits. Um. Well, that- I guess if you kept it there long enough, you know, it takes a little while to get frostbite. But, you know, the one time we played with the ice cube, that was very, very scent. Like it, it burned. Yeah. Like when you actually put it on the clit itself like it felt good around everything but once you put that ice cube on the clit itself it was was so cold it felt like it was burning so it was you know like game over so yeah i don't know the dr sarah walsh the co-founder of hank's condom brand warned women not to put ice pop ice pops anywhere near their genitals she said the vagina is composed of very delicate and sensitive skin Hence, things that may seem innocent to other areas of the body, if they come in contact with the vagina, can cause infections, irritations, and damage. Yeah, definitely getting a yeast infection. There are many things that should never go near a vagina, and popsicles are up there. The ice can stick to the delicate skin of the vagina and cause real trauma and damage. Dr. Wells continues to say that the sugar of the lolly could potentially disrupt the natural pH of a vagina, And all that didn't sound horrible enough. There's also the added concerns that the popsicle could break inside of you. Okay, well, I wouldn't be worried if it broke inside of you if you're doing that anyways, because it's just going to melt, you know, unless the stick breaks off inside you. But what the fuck are you doing with that popsicle if that stick breaks off inside you like that? (laughs) You know what I mean? Like, you're going to have to have some really crazy force on that stick, but... Um, yeah, because it would be like me when I freaked out when the, the tip of that Q-tip came off of my ear. Oh, and I yeah. about I f- freaked out. Thinking I couldn't imagine getting ear. something like that stuck in my vagina. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. But, it, I mean, with that, if even if it did, it would melt pretty quick because your vagina is hot. So yeah. it's just going to be a gooey, gross mess. And then you're getting a yeast infection. And then you're definitely in a world of hurt. So uh, to to keep cool, they suggest uh, avoid any foreign bodies in the vagina for yeah. risk of infection. She added, "I would suggest loose cotton underwear and avoid tight clothing to prevent any irritation or dermatitis developing. A cool shower without internal douching <laughs> and keeping well hydrated should suffice." No douching with popsicles. So, <laughs> but it's really bad that a doctor had to come out and say this is like, this is the reason why they had to put warning labels on everything. Now they're <laughs> going to have to have a warning labor label on popsicles saying, do not insert into your vagina. Do not use this douche. Yeah. I, I don't know. That's why I thought maybe, um, someone had like a TikTok video and it went viral or something. And <laughs> that's kind of where I thought maybe it came from, which it didn't sound like that. But yeah, it didn't really tell you what, where it where kind of initiated like from, but, that's but it had to originate from somewhere. Some if somewhere. a lot of people are doing it, <laughs> yeah. I don't know, unless it was just the person who was writing the article, you know, maybe it was them or they thought about it. Martha Stewart's out there being like, 
to cool off today, we're going to insert <laughs> popsicles into our vaginas. And depending on the day, you can choose what flavor you prefer. Yes, it is Pride Month, so uh, <laughs> so you can color coordinate your days. Mondays are red. Tuesdays are orange. <laughs> oh. uh, speaking of Pride Month, um, now that I remember that it's still June, before we get into our 60 story, don't forget to go out and vote for us at the ASN Lifestyle Magazine Awards. Yeah, You guys definitely. got a couple more days. It's till June 31st. Is it 31st? Is it 30? 30th. 30th yep. is the last day for voting. Yep. So go out and vote the Sexy V for Sexiest Content Creator. Yep. And vote for the podcast for Best Entertainment Podcast. Yeah. Because if we're putting the entertainment into the entertainment podcast, <laughs> at least for some of you, then you fucking rake us on Facebook or whatever you said. Saying, I talk too much about your fat life. <laughs> All right, so let's get into our sexy story. All right. Because it's really nice that this was d- just... It worked just out. worked yeah. out. And, you know, it, it happened. So, uh, like I said, I, I put out a thing that we were looking because we had a weekend coming up to where I didn't have anybody in my house. Yes, we had a free house and... Um, Yep, I didn't have my son that weekend, so yeah, it worked out. Yeah, so uh, so we had a free time, um, and the last time we had that, like we couldn't get anybody to show up. Right, yeah, we had a hard like, time trying to find somebody. And, and it just kills you because these opportunities come so rare for us to where we don't have anything happening. Right. So uh, so I put this out on, on Reddit, and I put it out on FootLife. And uh, being like, we're looking for somebody that's only fans verified. Yeah. To come out because, you know, a, a lot of people are like, well, you guys aren't real swingers because you only want to fuck people for only fans. Right. And I'm tired of hearing that. It's not that. It's just our time is so little to do anything yeah, that we want to swing and make stuff. For we want to kill two birds <laughs> with one stone. Yes. And yeah, I can see, you know, people may think that, um, but we would, we were doing this before yeah. my OnlyFans. So it's not something that we do as like a shtick, like this is our, our thing, you know, yeah. this is our life. Like we'd be doing this regardless, yeah, definitely. whether we, we had were, the podcast we were, or not, yeah, we whether were, we had my OnlyFans or not. Yeah, we were filming, you know, our, our meetups. And I think there's probably only a handful of times that we didn't film anything. And that's, you know, out of respect for the person that was Because like, they, didn't, they yeah. didn't want it. They didn't want it filmed. So, yeah. you know, if they didn't want to, no big deal. You yeah, don't have we to. St- yeah, we still. We still fucked them. Yeah, absolutely. You know? And then once we, um, once I decided to start OnlyFans to share our experiences with other people, then it's like, hey, let's. Um, find people that we can film with, and obviously they have to be other creators because otherwise, you know, you can't yeah. legally release the content. So it's just how it is. So, so this, whatever people can think what they want, I don't care. So, so this guy, he was OnlyFans verified, and like I said in the the DM slide, he doesn't make content. He just wants to fuck. And yeah, it's he's like just a, it's down for having some fun. So it's, it's pretty much an end for him, you know, to get with creators. And uh, he was wasn't too far away, about forty five minutes, an hour from us. Yeah. Technically, you know, we like to keep him a little bit closer, just because our time, you know, sometimes is, we have short windows. Yeah. And uh, he said he was willing to make that drive, and I'll tell you what, guys. If you make that drive, it is well worth it. <laughs> <laughs> it was, and we've heard that multiple times from the guys, you know, that drove, you know, quite a bit of distance. Yeah, like, like an hour. This or more. was well worth it, you know, to come yes, down. Yes, he was very, very pleased. See all this <laughs> and fuck it. But uh, so he showed up, you know, right on time. Yeah, uh, he was right on time, and I was already dressed up in some sexy lo- orange lingerie uh, that I had picked out. And now he didn't know that I was already dressed up and waiting for him. Yeah. Uh, We didn't really talk about that specifically. So um, just from past experiences, I have known that to throw some guys off and it makes them very nervous. Um, I don't know if they thought we were going to sit down and have tea beforehand or something. I don't know, but... (laughs) I guess walking into... We're going to have some popsicles. (laughs) Yeah. I guess walking into a room... 
and I'm in lingerie or half naked or whatever meeting me for the first time in person. Yeah. I guess that can be kind of intimidating. I mean, you're fucking hot as hell, so (laughs) it it would be intimidating. But um, that's what he said. He's like, you know, you're very sexy in pictures, but when I walked in here, I was just like, wow. (laughs) Did he he, say something like that? Yeah, he said said that, you know, he he loved your stuff online. You know, you're you're gorgeous and stuff online. But he he goes, when I got here and seen you in person... He goes, he goes, wow, you're fucking incredible. <laughs> <laughs> no, thank you. <laughs> he, he goes, uh, you know, the pictures do not do, you know, any service from, you know, being right there in front of you. Compared to, yeah, in person. So, yeah. yeah so, uh, so, so that was nice. So he showed up and, uh, right to it. We said hi and, uh, he came up to you and you guys started, uh, you know, feeling each other up a little bit. And, yep. Yeah, it was really hot because uh, you started taking off his pants. Yes. And uh, you guys started making out while you are like, unbuckling them and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And I have to tell you guys, if you guys are going to go fuck a chick, don't wear a belt because I've seen you struggle a few times. (laughs) Yeah, sometimes they're hard to um, finagle and and get off. You know, all belts are a little different. Um, Like this Madison guy you had a problem with? You had a problem with uh, that that Monster BBC's belt. You oh, actually yeah. told him to take it off himself. Yeah, yeah. And then this guy had a belt that you kind of fidgeted around a little bit. Well, it was too. like one of those like cloth belts where it goes, um, you know, you like put it through the loop and then you like loop it through again and then tighten it. So it wasn't oh, like yeah. a regular belt where you just, you know, take the little uh, metal piece out of the eyelet and then you take it off and it's good to go. This was a little more complicated and of course i'm not uh and most times when you're trying to take off a belt it's easier when it's on you yeah you yeah it, it's kind of like trying to tie a tie in front of you instead of right. on you yeah or it's probably like for guys trying to take off a bra sometimes uh, i'm a professional at that what are you talking about well maybe <laughs> <laughs> well you know i'm sure some guys initially yeah you know trying to get some of those bras off yeah well i was trained on like the, the six clasps bras so <laughs> I'm pretty good at, you know, because <laughs> my ex had some giant ass titties that she had these bras. So you, so you never had the sexy bras because those bras were always just like. No, they were, they were sexy. They oh, were yeah? like the, if you went to like uh, Frederick's of Hollywood, because that's where we would order them a lot. Uh, oh, really? Yeah. Because Frederick's does the, the really big size Oh, and to where it was like. You know, the frilly stuff and fancy and, you know, mm. yeah, yeah. So he had to pay a little extra to gotcha. get the fancy stuff, but it was well worth it. Because usually I hear all the uh, the ladies with the the big old titties say, you know, they bitch a lot about the, the bras. Yeah, not, um, not the, the dainty little They're not Victoria's all sexy Secret, with, like, know. yeah, sexy lace. It's just all, like, no, so if you there's got, all this fabric. <laughs> if you have big titties, go to uh, Frederick's of Hollywood. Yeah, they got some hot-ass fucking bras for big titties. Well, but, I don't have that problem. No, so. you don't. Oh, look at those. Oh. And I have to say, you posted a video today on, uh, on your OnlyFans. I did. Where you, like, removed your bra, and your tits don't move at all. <laughs> it's like... Well, I mean, the bra... I didn't take the bra off all the way. I just kind of like, you know, pull it down. Yeah, but, but still, even like you pull it down, like you would think you would see some shift in your tits. There's no shift at all in those things. No, they, they're pretty much. Those are fibrous as fuck. <sighs> <laughs> Wish I never used that word. Uh, anyway, going back to our sexy story. I don't know how we got sidetracked there for a second. But uh, uh, so you took off his, his, uh, his pants while making out with them. And... <laughs> I had a good laugh because this dude was wearing pineapple boxers. Yep, and it was funny because you had on your pineapple boxers, and it was the same brand, and he had on um, a different. Yeah, he had the cloth ones. Yeah. I had like the the, the shiny, skin tight shiny gotcha. ones. So um, yeah, I definitely had to compliment his uh, boxers that he had on. Yeah, so I'm like, well, somebody's joined the Bang uh, Bang, Bang <laughs> Pineapple Gang. <laughs> so. Um, but when you pulled his pants down, and because he had those cloth boxers, his dick was so fucking hard. Yeah, he was already like. So yeah, rock did you hard. feel him hard to his pants? Yes. Yeah, so he was hard pretty quick then, huh? Yes. Nice. Yes. He and, definitely did not have a problem getting hard. Oh, he definitely did not have. And oh, 
because you pulled his boxers down and like kind of sprung up. <laughs> it was like, boing, boing, boing. well, yeah. I mean, it's obviously it was hard, and then he, he has like a curve to his cock too. Um, it's like, yeah, it's it's got like a sharp kind of curve to it. So, and it was really, I mean, not like weird, but it was definitely noticeable, especially when I was giving head. Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh huh. I've never really noticed it before with other guys that have like a curve, but um, yeah, I don't know. It was. Not like a bad way or anything. It was just something, I guess, that I noticed more. Cool. When I was giving head, but yeah, you uh, so so when you pulled out his cock, and uh, you were like, wow, you know, I I like what I see. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and you know, he's he had a really nice cock. It was it was uh, I would say you know, but it was bigger than mine, but um, it, like you said, it had like this like uh. It's like curved to it. It wasn't like a giant cock, but it wasn't like a small cock. You know, it was a really, really nice sized cock. And uh, you got down on your knees and started sucking it. Yeah. And uh, it was so, like I said, when I watched the video, I can't make it past the blowjob. Now, what is it about the blowjob? I don't know. You seem, like I said, there's some times where I've seen you like go through the motions, I guess. Well, there. I'm not ever just going through the motions. I wouldn't say that because you make it sound I, like I'm just doing no, it. No, I'm just to, saying. I don't know. I think you. Not nah, it. Now it sounds bad. That I'm like it seemed like you liked this one, <laughs> but it, it seemed like well, they're just. I guess maybe certain. Uh, you just vibe different with certain people. I guess. Yeah. Maybe it's just that initial uh, attraction, you know, or uh, maybe just the initial meet up or the initial uh yeah i guess just that initial meeting of somebody i don't know yeah so uh, but so, i know you've said yeah. that before i i know what you, i know what you're so, talking so about so you seem like you're like you are like really into it and uh so while you're sucking his dick just like the the eye contact you make and like you you start drooling down your face and, <laughs> yeah you like when i drool oh fuck that that's my favorite <laughs> and uh so you sucked him for a little bit and then you you had me come over and uh, you gave your your famous double blow jobs yes i did and uh and i will say it was short for one of your famous double blow jobs yeah you did you did make uh, mention of that I didn't know if you were, your your jaw was hurting from sucking dick or you really wanted a dick inside you. <laughs> well, I really just wanted to get fucked, but I guess I really didn't even think like, oh, this was not long enough. <laughs> I, I, I mean, <laughs> it was only a minute and a half. Oh, who's counting? <laughs> I, well, the counter on the video Excuse says me. an hour and a, you know a, a minute and a half. When usually you take a little bit longer and yeah, smashing I, your cocks. I don't know. Well, because when you're double blow jamming us, you were rubbing our cocks together in your mouth, which I rubbed. Yeah, it was I hot. It. Yeah. yeah. No, I love I, I, no, I just seeing. I just wanted some dick. Yeah. And and I I think I mean, that's what. My pussy was soaked, yeah. so I was ready to go. So uh, so you got up, bent over the bed, mm-hmm. and uh, he struggled a little bit trying to get inside you. Um. Yeah, and I don't know if it was just... Um, being bent over and, you know, he was a tall guy. We just didn't align properly. Or I didn't know if maybe he was just trying to rub his cock on my pussy before putting it in. Like maybe try to, you know, get it wet a little bit. And, you know, I didn't know what he was trying to do. So I didn't know if he was like trying to put it in, but failing because he was, you know, not at the right angle or if he was just, trying to play around a little bit before he finally put it in. But yeah, watching the video, yeah, he definitely struggled a little bit. Uh so so he finally got it in you. And uh he started fucking you bent over to the bed. And now you said with the curve to his cock, it felt different. Like it was hitting a different spot. Well I mean obviously when you have a curved cock. Because he's got way more of a curve than I got. Well yeah, you're hitting spots that don't normally get uh um, you know, maybe hit that often, but yeah, I noticed it more sucking cock than him oh, yeah. fucking me. Yeah, because he 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 curves, and I I'm more of a straight up and down guy. Yeah, you're like, pretty I, straight. I, yeah, you know, and but he he definitely yeah, threw a the big curve. curve yeah, yeah. yeah. big nice curve. Yeah. Uh, but <laughs> so while he was fucking you, I got on the bed, and usually I'll lay down on the bed, mm-hmm. and you'll suck my cock. But I stood up, 
Yeah. Because you're like, you know, I want to kind of arch up a little. Because he's a tall guy, so I didn't know if it was kind of a yeah. weird angle for you guys. So you're, I was up there filming you, and you were sucking my dick, so we were spit roasting you. And then uh, I heard him, like, you know, just like a minute or so into it. He's like, Yeah. He's like, he's like, uh, so where do you want me to come where at? Where do you want me to come at? And for a second, I was like, did he just say, where does he want to come at? <laughs> I'm like, we just started. I'm, I'm like, oh no, it's Madison Guy all <laughs> over again. And I was like, um, I was like, well, you know, you can come on my ass. You're already back there anyways. Do your thing, you know, and just finish right there. Um, and then I'm thinking like, okay. <laughs> And now I feel bad, like you drove an hour here. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm like, I'm, yeah, I was standing there. I was like, because, uh, so, because he said he was gonna come. So I take my cock out of your mouth, and I got off the bed, and I was filming you guys finishing. Yeah, and like he like pounded the shit out of you, you know. Yeah, you know, standing up right before he was coming, yep. and then like uh, he came like everywhere. He like came to the side of him. He came all over. Oh his yeah, ass. came off. Yeah, down his leg, and then all over my ass. So uh, so after he came, you know, I came around you and I fucked you for a little bit because mm-hmm. I love feeling you know your pussy all used up, and stretched <laughs> out, and you know, yeah, he put a stretch into that pussy. Yeah, and uh, so you know, I'm watching you know this cum kind of like run down your ass, and you know, while I'm fucking you doggy style. And, yeah. Uh, and I looked over, you know, and he was still hard. Yes, I noticed he was still hard, and he wasn't, like, getting dressed or anything like that. Um, he was just kind of watching over in the corner while we were doing our thing. So um, while you were fucking me, you're like, hey, you know, you, you're you more than welcome to come back if you want, you know, you mean, or if you want her to suck your cock while I'm fucking her. Um, if you're ready for round two, if you want to go round two, because sometimes, sometimes it depends on the guy. They can go more than one round. Some can't, some prefer not to. And he's like, well, yeah, possibly. So we'll see. So we just did our thing for a few minutes and then, um, I like to come off your ass and then we shared it. Yeah. We had a nice, uh, cum kiss and that's always hot. And then, uh, but once we were back on the bed, he did come back over. Yeah. And um, you sucked on his cock to join again. So I started sucking his cock. Yeah, the, the whole time, him. his cock never went down. Yeah, no, I noticed he had a hard cock the whole time, yeah. even after he came the first time. I yeah, whether it softened up a little bit, it, probably, but I, he, I think he was just ready to go after that again. <clears throat> yeah. So uh, so I was fucking you doggy style on the bed, and you were sucking his cock. So we were spit roasting that way, and then uh, then I'm like, "Do you want to fuck her again?" And he's like, "Yeah." Mm-hmm. So. Uh, so you're like, well, what do you want us to do? I'm like, well, I like watching you ride a dick. Oh, so, he asked me. I was like, well, how do you want me? He's like, and he started to lay down, and he's like, well, what? I was like, you want me to ride you? He's like, yeah. So I got on his cock and went to town. Yeah, you I fucking love watching you <laughs> ride a dick. And then like, the my favorite part is when you like lean forward and he like kind of grabbed your ass. Oh, and then he starts and he thrusting just started faster. Yeah, on in the shit out of you. Yeah, the noises and oh, just the. It was so fucking hot. Yeah. And then, you know, you sat back up and you're riding him and his like dick slid out of you. And you're like, oh, I'm sorry. And I'm like, I'm like, I need to suck that dick. <laughs> then I'm like, then I'm like, is it all right if I suck your dick? Yeah. You're like, can I taste that pussy off your cock? And I think he heard, I want to taste her pussy. So I think he was getting off the bed for me yeah. to lay down for you to eat me out. And yeah. I'm like, no, he wants you to taste or he wants to taste me off of you he's like oh okay so he laid back down and then um yeah you sucked him for a minute and then i went down there with you too and we sucked his cock together for a minute or two oh that was so hot and oh god his cock was so he's got a beautiful <laughs> cock you know i'm all about the aesthetics of a beautiful cock, <laughs> and he definitely had you know the madison-esque cock yeah no he had a very nice cock and uh so it was it was so hot you know the video is really hot because like i started licking his dick and he had like this pre cum like dripping down the head of his Yeah, cock. I saw that. It was super hot. Oh, so fucking hot. Yeah. Uh so yeah, we sucked his dick for a little bit and uh I'm like, man, I could suck this dick all night and I <laughs> you were sucking the top of him and I started sucking on his balls and oh the dude got the treatment. <laughs> so <laughs> yeah, then uh very hot. so so then after that, uh you're like, Well, I wanna fuck you know, I want to get fucked again. So mm-hmm. he laid you on your back and 
You did your little whore thing where you spread your legs out really <laughs> wide. And this dude, you know, he had a nice ass, nice body. You know, I could definitely tell he worked out, but he is not like, which way is the gym worked out? Yeah. And uh, so his body was nice and toned and just watching his ass like pound the shit out of you. Yeah. The noises yeah. and your moans and jiggles there and your legs spread and it was so fucking hot. And so he's pounding you hard for a little bit and yeah. then... Uh, he pulled out and came, came all over your stomach. Yeah, he and he came twice. Yeah, he came twice that yeah. night. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah, definitely a lot of fun. Um, he said he had a great time, obviously. Um, yeah. Like worth I, the drive. <laughs> like I said, he said he was shocked with how beautiful you were in person and, you know. Yeah. Even compared to like your pictures that he's seen. Yeah. Well, no, that's awesome. So. Yeah, definitely. I know it made your night. Yes. Yes. So. Yeah, you like those compliments. I sure do. <laughs> so. I mean, after all those all those years of being, you know, shit on to get guys coming over here and, you know, fucking walked in with a heart on it. You know? <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> That's nice. So So yeah, so we definitely want to have him back and, you know, we exchange yep. numbers and cuz usually I don't, you know, exchange numbers with anyone, but this guy right. he was he's really cool down to earth. Um like I said, beautiful cock. Yeah. Open up to to type of play we want to do yeah because it's not like when i say i'm bi i'm not like fucking dudes asses and stuff like that well and that's the thing it's like you know when you say you're bi it's like well you know you're not out there having relationships with dudes so i wouldn't even say you're necessarily like bi in that sense it's just like you're comfortable in play situations to play with a yeah. cock like situationally bi right and, and when when i'm bi i'm talking like I like sucking dick. I like getting my dick sucked. I like getting my cock rubbed up against another cock or whatever. Yeah. So, so you know that that kind of stuff. I've never been into you know the whole you know anal thing with dudes or whatever. Yeah. So, so yeah. So uh, so he plays the way we want to play, and you know you know he was down. You know kept that cock hard for two rounds, and <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was a lot of fun. So uh, yeah, so uh, that is AJ the Reddit guy. Yep, so, you're a Reddit uh, fan. Yep, Reddit fan. So go out there to your OnlyFans to check out all the videos of what we just talked about. Yep. Where so can have, they go? I have clips posted on there, so you can check it out at the sexy V. Um, v is V E at the end, and uh, you get the first month for seven fifty, and you get access to everything right away. So you don't have to pay anything extra for the videos once you get in my page. Very cool. So go check it out. Also, uh, guys, go out to. Uh, uh, Instagram and TikTok, go to Bang Bang Pineapple Gang Pod 2.0. Hit that link tree and you get all the goodies like Panak and Cassidy and uh, you link to your OnlyFans is out there as well. Yep, and the Discord Society uh, or the Swinger Society Discord link is out on there. Yeah, so go out there and don't forget to vote. We got two weeks left until yes. June 30th. Yep. Go out to ASNLifestyleMagazineAwards.com. And vote for the Sexy V for uh, Best Content Creator. Yep. And the podcast for Best Entertainment Podcast. Yeah. Uh, so go out there and give some love. Man, you can hear my voice is going. Yeah, I hear it. You know, after that long you know, time convention to week. and wrap it know, up. Time to do this. So, all right, guys. Uh, uh, I don't forget how do we wrap this up. How do we do that? Uh, oh, with our names. Okay, that's what the sheet says. Is that what we're going with? My name is Jay. Oh, I'm the sexy V. And there's a face. Stay kinky. Stay kinky. You motherfucker.